As a brief uh, intro to my presentation, I would like to recall the motto uh, often utilized by the Victorian Certificate of uh, Applied Learning, VCO, where it says, teachers should find where the learners are at. And uh, having said that, I would like to say where I am at. And uh, I am uh, in regards to multimedia, especially in this uh, assignment. I feel obliged to to have a contribution because I've been in the area for so many years, because I have seen so much of uh, multimedia, but at the same time I have never produced uh, one film of my, one, of my own, never edited one film, that is. I try, in that sense, uh, I try to find someone within our team, our team of learners in the Bachelor of uh, Education, Applied Learning, someone who could help with the film editing, and uh, having not found one, I offer my, I pledge my support and try to, to help uh, the other peers in the production of our film editing skills. I have, uh, there you go. I often describe my learning as, uh, as a, a desperado style, where I put myself in a difficult position, and somehow I'm pretty good at that, uh, and I, I have to find ways to, to learn quickly and find the resources to to resolve uh, the immediate uh, needs. And um, if, you, if you wish to be on the cutting edge of technology, you have always to be looking for those uh, difficulties. Uh, otherwise, you, by the time you, you learn something, you, you're a bit uh, too late or too many people are already doing the same. The VCO motto uh, or statement or, or slogan to find the, where the students are at or the learners as such, is uh, resonate to me, with me, especially at this moment, because I had to find the, the learning of uh, or the skills for video editing, and I I, f I was uh, not interested on this simple approach. I wanted to use the professional tools, which I have seen so many times but never used, and uh, I had to find the resources and the tutorials that were suit suitable uh, to my needs or my state of uh, knowledge. So, and that, that's a skill on its own, and that's, uh, so today I understand that that uh, statement is extremely, extraordinarily important. I think it was borrowed, borrowed from Harrison, 2006. I'll check on that. But uh, that statement uh, means so much now to me because uh, it was, uh, I don't have much time to, to learn. I have to find the resource I need without, uh, without uh, being too simplistic and without being too, Time consuming. So, and uh, I did a couple of searches and I found from, from Camera Town slides um, showing uh, at uh, intermediate uh, level the introductory skills for those uh, professional tools. And uh, it made a lot of sense to me those, those, um, those video tutorials, and they were free, and uh, it, solved, it, it solved my problem. I, I didn't solve my problem, but uh, made me feel supported. And that's the trick here to find the right resource for the moment and the difficulty you have. And those resources w were perfect for me and uh, not necessarily ideal for someone who, who is just entering the, the field. So each student has the particular needs and it's up to the teacher to understand the, where, this, where the learner is at. 10 years ago when I was uh, oh, three, oh, maybe 12 years, when I first started teaching, I didn't consider very much the Although I, I, I experienced many classes where I had uh, the, the, the ones who know a lot and the ones who know very little uh, conjoined, I was, uh, I was not taking in consideration so much the, the effects or the individual needs. And uh, so those uh, statements are very important uh, at this stage of my teaching career. To finalize, I would like to say that a few hours or maybe yesterday I was uh, feeling very much desperate. And uh, now I have one issue sort of uh, resolved, which is the, the resources I needed. So my next step is to start producing, which I have done, and I have one week left for the delivery of the assignment.